Aloha and welcome to Nui's Outdoor Kitchen and Cooking with Nui Man. Today I'm gonna make chicken luau. And so, we got our luau leaves and we got the coconut for the cream. And the chickens are off out running about, so we'll get with that going too. All right. Got a rooster. Ready for harvest. Actually, he's getting a little old. I should have had him a few months ago. So we're gonna have to cook him a long time, boil him. Um, got the, this good knife from Brother Troy. And I'm gonna use a method to uh, put it down that is slightly, well, it's faster, so a little bit more humane. But the nice thing about it that it's quicker is that the feathers are easier to pluck because it kind of relaxes their body uh, when they mock when they die. Um, and basically, you open their mouth, and well, you'll see in a minute. All right, here we got our more chicken. Now we want to do this as quickly as possible. We open the mouth. And then we're gonna aim for that slit in the back, in the top. I should be able to see it a little bit. And I'm gonna actually position him a little differently. On his back. All right. Hollow, oh, buddy. Grateful. Here we go. Now basically you're aiming for the brain. Gonna be quick. There it is. That's it. They still bleed a little bit, but far less than you're gonna get when you're chopping off the head. Or less pain, I would think. All right, there's the easy part. Chickens have been uh, bled and uh, cleaned a little bit up, so now we just gotta get the feathers off, either pluck them or skin them, and then we can uh, gut them, get to the the real messy job. Well, I got it mostly plucked here. Um, I'm gonna finish up the rest when I um, am gutting it. I'm gonna, you know, cut off what I don't need, and um, yeah, it's just gonna be easier to get all the little. There's a lot of little tiny hairs here. I gotta pluck off anyway, so I'm gonna get all that same time, and we'll do the next one. And that one, we're gonna skin it. Well, we got the main bulk of the skin off. Now I just gotta wash off all the feathers and then I'll do the same thing. I'll take off the few little scraps I missed on the cutting board. And then we'll get these two suckers in the bucket so we can get some ocean water for a little bit. Now that we've washed it up, cleaned it up a little bit, it's time to get gross and nasty. Down in the dirty. Start with this incision right here. Basically, this is where everything will be 
Green move. But we can watch that at a faster pace. So now that we got it all cleaned out, and you want to be good about scraping out all these lungs, so there's a few ways you can go about that. You can just kind of hold it open and pull it out like this. Or you can also just quarter the whole chicken and cut it all open, which is what I'm going to do because I'm actually going to start these out on the grill for added flavor. I'm not trying to do anything fancy here, we just want it open. There you can see those really pink lungs. Got to clean all those out. And that'll actually be easier in the sink with some water. Here it's been soaking in the ocean water. Now we're going to throw it on the grill. And then it's going to go into the pot. It's been grilled just slightly, just enough to add some flavor. I don't want to lose too much fat or oil. And now we're going to cook it in the pot for a long time. All right, the pot's been boiling for quite a few hours now. And I stripped all the bones and I put the meat inside this little container. Not bad for two chickens, and we ate some of it last night. Just cooked meat, it was way better than I thought. Yeah, so now I'll just cook these bones for a little while, and then I'll strain out the bones, and then we'll get the luau cooking. All right. It's Paulo here. Um, it's been, weeds have gotten a little high in it while I was gone, but, um, and I don't normally harvest my, my luau from my kalo when I'm trying to get, you know, the corm going. But for convenience sake and make this video easy, um, yeah, we're, we're gonna video here because the spot where I usually get my luau, it's darker and the lighting's not good and um, it's kind of... So we're gonna do this and for your guys' sake, so for your sake, Makala will suffer here a little bit. Nah, just kidding, I can't put the blame on you. I'm gonna eat it. I'm the one pulling it off, just kidding, so. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna grab some luau here, and then, yeah, we'll continue on the, the chicken luau, all right. We got our luau picked, so we're ready to go. Yeah! All right, we got our chicken broth here. Pulled out all the bones. And, well, hopefully we pulled up all the bones out. Huh? <laughs> all right, but yeah, so it should be good. Now we're just gonna place this luau inside here. And then we'll get it all cooking. So a trick I, I've figured out over the years when you're making luau, you gotta chop them up. Everything cooks faster when you chop them up. <laughs> into the luau and um, I try not to add too much because it's easier to add more than to try cooking it out so um, 
for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave the pot lid off, so I'll have to add more water than normal. Uh, but we'll see if we can't get some. We got our luau cooking here. We're cooking a long time in the chicken broth. I chopped up some, the chicken that we separated from the bones and now we're going to add it in there. Yeah. Kind of half vegetable, half meat almost. <laughs> Get that all stirred in. cook this a little while more and then we'll be adding a coconut cream and then we'll be able to grind. We got some palo boiling over here that I harvest um, and we'll be able to have that with this meal. It'll be awesome. Oh, plenty of chicken. <laughs> I got small kind carried away with the chicken in mouth but you all. Right. Got the cream in the pot. Now just gotta stir it in. Warm it up a little bit. Ooh, and then it's time to grind. Oh, look at that! It's all that's that's some meaty stuff. That's why it's uh, chicken luau, not luau chicken, huh? Get that in there. It's gonna be awesome. So let's heat it off just enough to thicken. And we'll be there. Alright. Chicken luau is pow. Mmm, the kalo also. So we got some chunks of kalo in there to eat with our chicken luau. Oh no, perfect. Mm. Try some with the kalo now. Mmm. A good combination. Mmm. Oh no. All right. Well, been another successful episode of Cooking with Nui Man. Mm. Aloha.